All right, what's good, you guys? Uh, quick little intro before I take off to a friend's house to watch the uh, AOT finale, but yeah, this is going to be the finale, or my reaction to the finale for AOT. Uh, it's going to be pretty crazy as a manga reader. I uh, haven't seen it uh, in its entirety yet. I've seen bits and pieces of it here and there, uh, but li like 10 second clips, you know what I mean? Like nothing crazy, but yeah, aside from not like remembering much of how the manga like ended in terms of like details and stuff, like of course I know how it ends and stuff, um, but like I'm I'm foggy on it because I purposely haven't gone to back, ugh, haven't gone back to reread it in like two, three years, whenever it is that it came out. Um, but yeah, I've read it twice, or I remember reading it twice when it came out, and I enjoyed it both times. So my opinion on the ending isn't going to change as far as that goes. But I'm, I'm excited to see uh, just how it all plays out in the anime form. Because I've heard it's like a spectacular freaking looking episode. Uh, but yeah, the episode is going to premiere in about 18 minutes or so. So yeah, I'll see y'all uh, for that here in a bit. And yeah, peace. <clears throat> even if we take out the tight end, it doesn't even matter, right? If he so takes out, I mean, if he takes out that tight end, yeah, because like Amir is helping this on Aaron's side now. Pretty much, yeah. Cause that's just like a, like that isn't even really Zeke, it's like just a, like the Warhammer's ability pretty much like creating him. Yeah. I forgot about that shit. But there's like so much shit that I forgot about. That one's a jaw, I'm pretty sure. Or female, maybe. I remember this was like the actual Warhammer, I think. Or it looked like it. It was this shit where he's like fighting two Titans. Shit from the intro, with just different like variation of titans. When? At the intro, we're talking about it way back in like season. 
one, two, or three when it was showing, like the beast kind of running, like with all the other animals and shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that one looks cool. Looks like a fucking JoJo. Little jaw. They're probably all like placed in certain like areas. That one looks like the thing from fucking Fantastic Four. Like the head. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Fucking VA is going off right there. Here's short hair again. Hello, Zeke. Come take a seat, old friend of Aaron's. I'm guessing you were consumed by Emir too. Saw a mirror in the back. Was the one the right? A mirror? I think that's where that was. Unless there was somebody else I didn't see or pay attention to. I don't have a mohawk or anything with though.
Oh, that's Kruger, I think. Aaron's dead. The other one was probably a uh, fucking Z uh, Zaver. I think that was his name. Like Zeke's mentor, the previous Titan. I'm gonna go to commercial a bit. Oh, no. His story. <laughs> this is the shit that you had seen a long ass time ago. Vic. I said, this is the shit that you had seen a long ass time ago. Let's see. <laughs> I can remember the fucking Colossal Aaron. Cause I remember it showed like, like, uh, like Connie and John and all them getting turned in, into Titans. And I could have sworn it showed Gobby as one too. Unless I just missed it. Oh, they're right there. Yeah.
are you crying? I don't know. But I feel like this isn't where I should be right now. There's nothing we can do anymore. On the day we ran away and came here, we gave up our chance to change things. Well, this war ended two months ago, so the invasion of Paradis should start pretty soon. Do you mind making another promise? Once I'm dead and gone, please throw this scarf away. You're gonna live without me for a long time. So forget you knew me. Forget me. This looks really good though. Remember when I told you, like, like I just kind of, like, sat there one time? It was after this one. Mm -hmm. I wish Danny would have been here, though, because I remember, like, I'm pretty sure he predicted that Mikasa was going to kill Aaron before it even happened in the manga. And I remember I was like, I was like, no way, that's never going to happen. Like, <laughs> and it ended up fucking happening, like, however long it was afterwards. Oh, so this is the part where uh, you said you were there at another uh, general. Yeah, cause I think it ended like on that panel, like of them like just kissing, and then a mirror in the back. And I was like, "Fuck, dude!" Because like it had just showed everything prior to that. Because the crazy thing is, like, if you go to the first chapter of AOT, mm -hmm. like it it pretty much shows. Uh, like it shows that part where she's like see you later and she has long hair or like shorter hair and then uh it and then like he wakes up and then like i think he makes a comment about her hair being longer now or some shit like that <laughs> what did it say in the in the horse thing like how do you say i am you yes so you do People said they did this whole convo a lot better in the right, anime. So how did things go with her? With her? I mean, with Mikasa. Do you really think she's going to be able to forget you and live happily with somebody else? That's what you're hoping she'll do, right? Uh, I don't know. Just failings like that. She always failed you over everything. 
given her own life. You really think you could just say forget about me and that'd be the end of it? The good news is I know one charming young fellow she's pretty close to already. Oh. <laughs> Break my heart. I don't want her to find someone else. I don't want to be her one and only love. Even if she does do it for me. If it should take her ten years at least. <laughs> oh, I see. Sorry. I didn't think you'd say something that pathetic. Don't tell me you said about this. <laughs> I want her to find happiness. I do. This is the only resolution I can bring about. That's all there is to it. You're joining me? Where? Assuming it exists, then hell. We'll spend eternity suffering for every single life that we stole. Together. Listen to this. 
Aaron told me that my mom had turned back into a human. He told me that he hoped we would all live long lives. But what about they're playing that song, dogs? Why are you worried about yourself, you suicidal maniac? Wow. I'm feeling kind of left out. Wish I had gotten a chat. It's good to be back. Dad. <laughs> Are you watching? You would see that this is it. This is what we did with the hearts you gave. Dude, I forgot about that. Damn it. Are they all dead? No, they're low. in our hands. Now with this brief reprieve comes our chance to choose how to live in a world without titans. <laughs> you remember it's a funny show. In a minute. sent us to handle these peace talks? Ambassadors or not, I wouldn't be surprised if we got blown out of the water pretty soon. Yeah. I'm amazed it hasn't happened already. Well, this is what we get for letting that dumbass make us international heroes. It's <laughs> much for living long lives. Come on, Annie. Don't tell me you got on the ship expecting to go home alive. And don't forget that we're a scout regiment. We're a bunch of dreamers who don't know who to quit. But I was in the military police. Anyway, we won't be killed <laughs> once. Because when the people of Paradis see us, they'll want to know what we have to say. Isn't that what the cloud was doing? 
Like giving away candy and shit. How about him turning into a bird? No, it was me because I've never seen that before. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. But I want to see it though, so send it to me. Fake fan. Because there are mad people when that shit came out. Uh, they thought that Aaron was that bird, literally. Fucking idiots. That was pretty much like they were all going to visit. Uh, Let's show more right here. Because other people thought that uh, Mikasa and Jean get together. Because in the manga, like, it showed them go visit as, like, an older couple. And the guy looked like Jean, but there's never any, like, confirmation or nothing. That, like, that's just so small, though, but you can probably yank it out if you, like, make it bigger. Because, like, the last person to visit was supposed to be Armin, I believe. And you had seen this whole clip already, or like just that ending bit? Just that ending. Mm. This is what I saw. Yeah, because I had seen the whole little clip already at this point, but...
But like, that's the thing where people say like, oh, like AOT can continue in the future and shit. But then like, it's just weird because like, they said that that the powers were pretty much like eradicated. But then, like it shows that like it's kind of weird. Like, what's the point of showing that? I'm not really sure. Because, like, people said that that tree that you just saw right there grew from, uh, like, where Aaron's head was buried. But, like, that was a whole different tree, though, that was shown there. Because, like, the tree was still standing, it, it, like, even after Parody got bombed and shit at the end of it. I don't know, like, that's the thing that, like, I don't really, like, I couldn't remember if it said, like, the shit about the powers being, like, erased or whatever. But, like, I was pretty sure it said that they did. And then for it to still, like, show that, it was just kind of, like, interesting. That the part of the cabin was real? It like, I always assumed that, like, when Aaron fucking asked Mikasa about her feelings, that she would have just said the truth and said she was in love instead of being like, oh, you, you're my best friend. Because I always assumed, like, it was, like, another, like, timeline. And that was the whole, like, timeline theory that I was telling you, where, like, or, like, he... Like, he basically, like, tries over and over again to reach, like, a different outcome, but he can't. But each time, like, he fails, he ends up waking up again, like, under the tree. Because I don't know if you had heard me, Nick, but, like, uh, like, the whole, like, sh the shit that you saw, like, with Mikasa having, like, short hair. Or, like, he asked her why, like, I don't know, Aaron asked Mikasa, like, why her hair is longer now or whatever. It's because, like, in the first, like, chapter, like, it shows, uh, like, like, it shows the see you later scene for, like, half a panel, and then it goes to him waking up. So, like, it, so, like, it implies, like, when he, like, got killed, he pretty much sends those memories back to Aaron, and then he wakes up, and that's why he's like, oh, why's your hair longer? I thought it was short. And, like, that's why he's crying and stuff. Like, did you like it? Or were you? That was cool. Well, they kind of had their reaction, like, kind of expected anyway. Because I remember that was a really cool fucking theory. Uh, it was called the Warhammer Theory, I remember. Where, uh... It was something where, like... They like pretty much like chop off his head. Well, not like Aaron's actual head, but the, but like the fucking Doomsday Titan's head. He isn't in there. And then they realize that like the whole time it's been connected by the Warhammer or some shit. And so like once they chop off his head, uh, the Titan, it, it, like it ends up going back to Paradis. Like panning back to it, it shows Aaron like break out of the crystal. Then he like goes to Astoria to her newborn, like, baby, touches it. Because you remember, like, when they said, like, uh, if a Titan shifter dies, uh, the power just yeah, like, so, yeah, like, something about, like, well, the I power... Gonna, whenever it showed her fucking giving birth, I thought yeah, that yeah. was going to be the whole thing, like... Yeah. Like, pretty much, like, the power gets transferred to the, to the baby. He goes to the baby, touches the baby... It's a it's a pretty much like Titan shifter now, so touching it pretty much like re uh reenacts the rumbling, starts again. Then like you're pretty much like starts from where they were and just like trampling everybody at that point. That's like outside the walls. 